God bless, amen, fire and ice, God speed. Um, there is no fraud in heaven. You know how, let's say you set up a bank account somewhere, it doesn't matter where it is, any bank, you could be in Jamaica for all places, Germany, Galapagos Islands, it doesn't have any, it doesn't even have to be in the United States, it can be anywhere. You know how like someone, some crazy person, who yeah, who, who, who does know things, they know how to steal identity, they know how to steal credit, they know how to steal all that. They're so, they're smart in every aspect of stealing your identity. But I guess what people really don't know is, in heaven, there will be no more of that. There's not going to be any more identity, so enjoy it now for all the people that are into this, or this class of individuals, it doesn't matter where you are from, or who you are, just enjoy it now, because in the afterlife, you're not going to be able to do it anymore, there's not going to be any more stealing of anybody's identity, stealing from people's bank accounts, hungry parents that need to, parents that need to feed their children, and all this nonsense, evil, bad stuff that goes on in this world, there's not going to be any more fraudulent charges. You can't file fraud in heaven. There is no more fraud. There is no more fraud in the afterlife. You can't. No more fraud. You can't commit fraud in the afterlife. No more fraud. I remember there was a time in my life where I had to file fraud about three to four times in one to two months. Because somehow they just kept getting my ID and they kept taking my stuff. The bank was unsure what was going on and man, sometimes I just wish it would just end, you know, stuff like that and just and it even like happens to other people but worse. And it's just like you'd rather take from someone but would you rather not give? get to know the Lord and give to somebody that actually needs it. I just, I mean, I gave someone two bucks the other day who needed it. I don't know if they were even looking for work or something because they were homeless, but I still gave them something. Hey. No, no more fraud in the afterlife. None of this crazy stuff that goes on. Uh, no more stealing of the identities. Money, thieves, no more thieves. Fraud is just basically being another person taking your identity. Basically, they're just another form of a, it's just another form of a thief. So that's all it is. Even if they don't take any money, they use your identity anyway. It's still thieving, they're still a thief. And they don't even have to take a penny from you, they're still thieving. Let us know once it's all over with, this will be cut off. So I would just say to those people, you know what, if you don't want to turn your life around, fine, enjoy it now. Because later on, once this world is long and gone, and it will be, that it's done, baby. It is over with, because the Lord is going to stop all this and put it to a hole. Enough is enough, I'm coming back. Not only for my bride, but I'm taking this world back. And I'm taking, and the enemy is getting thrown in the pit by a cherubim. You know what a cherubim is? It's a small, it's a baby angel. The cherubims that sing holy, holy, holy for the Lord of hosts. Who can stop the Lord of hosts almighty, the uh, forever holy Lord? The ones that are singing around his throne every day for all eternity. Oh, well, that's... Even for all you young believers, you know what? You may not believe in the devil now, but here's the deal. He's real. And the thing is, though, people are going to see for who he is that basically... He's going to be like another Ivan Malat. Ivan Malat was a serial killer. But he was like this, he was like smaller than me. And I'm, I'm not that big. Like, I'm not that tall. But he was a small individual, but he was an excellent manipulator. He's like another Charles Manson. But he actually killed people. But that's like kind of like what the devil's gonna be. He's gonna be this small rodent, and it's gonna take a baby angel to grab him and throw him in the pit. And this is the individual that you're gonna that you've been deceived by. And it's all gonna be over with. So enjoy it. Whoever whoever.
whoever's following and doing fraud down. Do it while you can if you don't want to turn to the Lord. If you don't believe him, when to turn to him. Do it now because once it's done and the Lord comes back and he will, it's over. God bless. Amen. Fire in the sky.